This video mechanics gram will borrow footage from a United Collegiate Umpires Clinic featuring Major League Baseball umpire Will Little as he explains the track system for wedge positioning at first base. Will Little's track system is an adaptation to the evolving wedge theory. Prior theories have often used point of bag to demarcate a suggested starting position for wedge positioning on tag plays on the bases. However, as the theory evolves and the umpiring world learns more about wedge positioning, two negatives were discovered with the initial point of bag philosophy. Number one, point of bag often placed umpires in the lateral track of the fielder receiving the throw as the fielder moved side to side to adjust to and receive a throw. Secondly, umpires had a tendency to get to point of bag and plant for the duration of the play, failing to adjust to the movement of any fielders. This often resulted in umpires trying to look through the backside of the fielder as the runner attempted to tag the runner. The track system theorizes that the best position for the umpire to begin reading the play is on the same track or directly behind the fielder receiving the throw while remaining on the base side hip of the fielder as he or she receives the throw. Here is MLB umpire Will Little explaining the track system in finding the wedge at first base. The runner decides, oh, I need to get back, but the right fielder snap throwing. All right, what, so, what track's he on? This one, so I'm gonna get on it. All right, now he's gonna try to slide the inside. I'm right here, all right? Now, left field, hits the cut off the shortstop. He trips and falls. What track's he on? This one, right? Let's go on this one. Now he's gonna fight to come back out here. He moves up, I'm moving up. Does everybody follow that? Yep. Yep. Same thing here for back pick from the catcher. All right, I'm gonna try to fight. As long as he's not straddling first base, okay, and he's going completely inside, I wanna to try to get on that track. So I wanna to try to get up here the best I can. All right, now I've got that. I've got the tag on my hand. I've got the nine degree look here. I've got the look here, all right, on this track. All right, now if he's straddling, that's where you have a whole different situation. Remember, this is terrible. This is not good, all right? You wanna you want to be above somehow like this to where you can see around. That's the one time where you have to read the fielder. If he stays on straddling the base, you have to get to the top side, all right? That's the only shot you got. Otherwise, you'll be peeking through his legs and good luck. So when you're working, get on the same track as that guy is fielding the ball. Not where he's starting, all right, but where he's fielding it. Because Siegel may start on the top side, but then that high throw takes him down and you get stuck doing this, this is not good. All right, he actually fielded on that one, so I should have adjusted with him. He went on that track, I go on that track. Now I'm in really good spot here, okay? As demonstrated in this clip, Will Little's track system adaptation to wedge theory is consistent with the three fundamental steps of wedge positioning. Number one, assume a starting position five to seven feet behind the fielder receiving the throw. Secondly, adjust with the fielder as he receives the throw. And lastly, use quiet steps to find the 90-degree window into the wedge.